You're watching KWQC TV6, the Quad Cities News Leader. Today on PSL, the and meet Jeremy Hawk. He's a magician called the Amazer. And I believe this is the part where he really amazes Brian Witt. And we try to do that every day, and it's never very difficult. Uh, 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 the one person laughing in the studio, Brian Witt. Uh, uh, Welcome to Tuesday, March Thanks, Don. Coming up next, from card tricks to disappearing, a magician in Rock Falls who does it all. Brian Witt introduces us to the Amazer next on PSL. What's the best way to get over awkwardness as a kid? Just get on stage. That's what Jeremy Hawk did when he started performing as a magician, age 16. Brian Witt takes us to Rock Falls to meet the Amazer. Hey, we're recording. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I didn't give you one of my cards yet. Whoops. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Yeah, there we are. <gasps> Still warm. <laughs> Hot off the press, right? Oh, definitely. Went on vacation down in Florida one time, did the Disney World, and after that, we went to this outdoor mall called, called uh, Old Town, and they had a magic shop there. I bought a trick just for the heck of it. Got good at it, and I liked the reaction I was getting, and like, people like this stuff? I can, <laughs> and they're talking, because I was the shyest kid growing up. Really? Yeah, I, you know, school dances and all that stuff. I was the wallflower. Just, you guys don't, are you guys gone yet? <laughs> but, you know, you do the magic, I'm, I'm out there, and I've, you know, taught college for kids, and I tell them that it will cure the shy kid problem. Really? My little bunnies. Little foam bunnies, sure. Little bunnies, sure. yeah. They have names. They have names. Yeah, this one is Abe. Abe. This one is Anna. Abe and Anna. Abe and Anna. Ah. <laughs> Hey, banana. Yeah. Hey, we say, yeah, I'm, I'm doing these certain moves. The magic is in your mind. I'm going to take a Abe. Uh -huh. Put him in. Hey, that was Anna. Sorry. Oh, okay. I can tell the difference. <laughs> Trick worked for me. We're going to take Abe. Put him in this hand. Uh -huh. Take Anna. Okay. Put her in your hand. Squeeze tight. Okay. I'm going to reach into my hand. I'm going to take Abe out, turn him invisible, throw him at your hand. Okay. Check it out. See? They jump together there. Good. We have Abe and Anna. What would be your signature trick? Chinese linking rings. Chinese linking rings? Yeah. It's uh, my favorite trick. Uh, let's see, 25th year of magic. I think I started the rings 10, 15 years ago. And uh, I like to think I'm good at it. <laughs> I actually uh, have a DVD that's selling worldwide right now uh, in magic shops, uh, me teaching the rings. So, how, how so you, you just got to find the secret hole. You, 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 see, you see the secret hole in the center, right? Yeah. It's, it's yeah, right yeah, here. yeah. Yeah, so, so you just got to get the, uh, you got to grab two rings. Uh-huh. Grab, grab onto it on each side. Uh-huh. Both hands. Both hands. And just slowly separate them. <laughs> and it'll go back. Not always. <laughs> but it's always fun to do. Oh. It is a wonderful art. It's, it will definitely cure the shy, the shy kid problem. And uh, I just don't think it gets the respect it deserves. And there, there's just a lot of wonderful people out there that do magic. So you have a trick that Paula is going to love. Oh, she's going to love this. Okay. She's probably going to send me a check after this one. All right. All right. Just go ahead and uh, have a seat right here. You can sit uh, crisscross okay. applesauce. Or All right. When I was a kid, it was Indian style. Do one of those. Okay. Do one of those. And uh, look at the camera. Wave goodbye through the mesh there. Wait. Why am I waving goodbye? <laughs> Because I heard Paula really wanted to see this trick. Wait, whoa. <laughs> right, we'll just uh, Wave. put this uh, this little red thing in here. And we just say uh, the magic words. <laughs> Hello, Quad Cities. And <laughs> this red one's empty. And uh, <laughs> I think we need a new, uh, new person to work for. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. But Jeremy, he came back. Oh, he came back. Thank you for what? the support there. He just landed there. right here. Thank yeah. you. The check is in the mail. So, <laughs> so it's an illusion. Did you figure out? Uh, well, you know how we did that last one, didn't you? I know how we did the last one. I'm not going to spill the beans on that one because that's a really good one. Because you were still sitting there, right? For a while. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to show it back up. It's not really magic. Well, yes, it is. It's magic in your head. That's the big it's thing. It's magic you know? in your head. Oh, yes, it's ma <laughs> a lot of things are magic in my head. <laughs> I know. But, the big thing is, he showed me how to do a couple of tricks, and really, if you knew how they actually worked, you'd be like, oh duh. my gosh. No duh, right? But it's that trick in your mind that mm -hmm. it's like, 
Whoa. Yeah. And that's really cool. That's what we love about those guys. That's why they're, you know. And they're, it's for all ages. It really is. And it's very entertaining. That's why I love it. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Brian. No problem. He did show up again. Here's what we have tomorrow on the show. Free her